the last thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to build that project. So you are going into the file here, go into the build setting and click on the build setting. And if you are not, uh, if you are not on this Android uh, option here, you just click on this Android and there will be option of switch platform. You just simply switch the platform. And whenever, when you have switched the platform, go into this edit and go into this project setting here. here. Now, when you are uh, gone into this, there should be this thing here. You should change it to your something of your own com dot. Uh, I'm going to say that com dot game dot piano tile replica and there and you have the target api level and there should be a minimum api level so when you are going to set this thing here you need to set it uh, i think minimum api level should be something like uh, so it's not asking us whenever what we are so it's targeting the highest or the highest api level so that's good and i think mm, there are no other things that need to be changed until unless you are building it for the ios because whenever you are building it the uh, building it for the ios you need uh, first of all what you need to do is that you need to uh, there should be a arm where is that arm let me check uh, i think uh, this should work yeah, in the architecture unit, uh, you should change is uh, you should change the architecture to ARM64 because uh, iOS only work with the ARM64. So now we are building it for the i uh, Android. So I'm not going to uh, change that. So let's build it. I'm going to do this. Go into the build setting here and just simply click on this build here, and it's going to say where you want to. I'm going to save it on the desktop here. Save it. Yes, there was already installed. So I'm going to say yes. Now I'm going to build this version. So let's see what happens. I'm going. So when you have built the APK, uh, and I have built it in here, desktop here, uh, there will be a file. Uh, let's suppose this is the file, APK file, because I can't find it right now. So basically, uh, you need to uh, drag that file and place that file into your mobile. And when you have done that, you go into your mobile and simply install that APK version, because that would be your uh, app application let me run then uh, run that file and uh, tell you what's going to happen now you can see that i'm playing the game and the buttons are working uh, quite nice and uh, well i suck the game suck at this game i'm going to restart it and check it uh, now you can see that whenever i'm touching the piano tiles it's getting the color yellow and whenever they are touching the piano tiles where which are of white color and they are touching the boundary or they are touching the end of the screen they are getting uh, destroyed so this is it and our game is quite nicely built into the mobile